You're muted. I said that was nice, man. That was nice. That was really nice. Beautiful. Yeah. That I didn't have my. I, like, I was. I wasn't even ready. Like, I don't even have my hat on. But it's high. Man. I don't need a hat. Who cares about the next thing? Whoa. What's with the echo? What what's going on? What you mean? What's up with the Knicks, man? They don't be disrespecting over here, bro. You know what I mean? Don't be disrespecting. Don't be disrespecting, bro. Then you have them. You change your Instagram icon and everything. You think they're gonna I win? Been like that for like two months, bro. Then now you pay attention. You now you're gonna pay win, attention? man. What this is, is gonna be a long show, and it really can't be. I'm cooking dinner. What a week! Good week. A lot to talk about. A lot of books. I did a little bit of reading. I think you did a little bit of reading. Not much. I wish I got to got. Yeah, but you know, but you know something. Before we get into the books, not right now, but before we get into the book, I want to talk about uh, when we get to the DC portion or whatever. Uh, we, we didn't talk about Batman that came out last week. I really want to talk about Batman. I do too. We got yeah. a lot to talk about. Yeah. All right, so let's let's get the ball rolling. Guardians. Yes, I did. Okay, but before we do that, let let obviously start out the show. Obviously, everyone or most people should it, are aware by now. Unfortunately, our buddy. Chad RCG uh, unfortunately passed away two weeks ago. Yeah, um, yeah, really, really sad. Um, yeah, really, yeah, it is, it is sad, man. Dude, the dude is yo great dude. Uh, very thoughtful. You know what I mean? Uh, he was a dude that uh, it. Uh, for example, I, I bought the Golden Record. Remember the the Golden Record reprint of um, what is it? Avengers number four? Is it? Mm -hmm. Um, I was missing the 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 record itself right i was missing the record or whatever and my man you know he, he remembered that and like months later or whatever he, he ended up just a okay it to me you know uh so yeah he's just one of those dudes that that's thoughtful you know what i mean and i'll never forget that man and he's a fucking hilarious dude hilarious Fun, funny dude he's one of those guys because i mean so when he started coming around was about the time i started coming around and yeah. you know like the you know the savages and the warriors those the two we were all very tight you know we'd all yeah. be doing hangouts like all the time like not like we do now but like literally there'd be like one almost every day if we weren't at an auction like we'd all be like hanging out somewhere yeah and yep. uh yeah i mean i've talked to chad so many times um you know on the phone and just like you said just a funny guy and one of those guys where it would irk me because like he would give you like you know an insult <laughs> And then you think you could hit him back with an insult, and not only would it would it not phase him, but he'd come back with an even better one. Yeah, you know what I mean. And he was also good for like if we were like back if we were like all hanging out backstage, he'd do this to me all the time. He'd be like, he'd be you know you'd say something about like another auction you're watching or something like that, and you'd be like, oh blah blah blah, such a fucking idiot. He'd go right into the fucking into the live chat yeah. and be like, "Hey, so and so, Josh Graf thinks you're an idiot. What are your thoughts on that?" <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He'll call you all your bullshit too, man. Uh, yeah. So, he, yeah, funny guy, man. Funny guy, hilarious mm -hmm. guy. You know, I mean, he's just, just very like I said before, he's a thoughtful guy too, man. Uh, good guy, man. And I'll uh, never forget the day that me, him, and Let set the whole fucking like comic i swear by this the whole comic book community on fire when we like like unintentionally got uh, uh jungle action six to just like go to well yeah i remember that i remember that i remember that but i don't want to say the whole community but it was just that auction it was going yeah, on it was, it was it was that auction, auction. but then after that auction. everyone was like what the heck is going on and everyone yeah. started it was like copy. a trickle it was a trickle yeah. effect yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> I, I can I can say yes. I agree. I agree. Yeah. That's all that. Um, uh, but yeah, go ahead. So what else can we talk about? Not to move on from chat, but yeah, that's really so sad. Yeah, and, and obviously, bro. you know, you know, if you guys can donate to the GoFundMe um, for his family, that'd be that'd be great. Yes, yes. Um, and there is going to be a charity auction uh, uh, tomorrow. Yes, I think a few channels is doing it, man. Um. I don't have the flyer. I know Biggs had the flyer, um, and he was posting it or whatever. And you know, I, I, I myself, I, I don't. I'd rather donate to the GoFundMe myself. Yeah. Uh, I don't really have time for the auctions. As you can see, I'm not even the auctions with, with the Warriors as much. You know, so uh, definitely, man. If you know, if you know Chad, you know, and you want, you know, got a little loose change here and there. It's you know, to to support, definitely support the family, man. They'll be appreciative. And um, yeah, man. Uh, shout out to to Chad, man, and the family. Mm, you will be missed, Chad. Yes, Good job. Right. Uh, uh, 
so real quick, let me get this out of the way, uh, and then we can continue to talk. This is for final order cutoff for Sunday, May 14th for DC and Independence Order through Lunar, and the 15th, Monday, the May 15th for Marvel and Everything Ordered through... Uh, wow. I just what? had a little brain fart. Everything ordered through, I was about to say, through Previews World, that, through Diamond. Oh, my God. And make sure you go over to comicbookinvest.com, check out the articles... All the links to videos, every all the information they give away over there. So, uh, a couple quick things. Um, we're recording on Thursday. Uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom coming out at midnight. I am looking forward to it skeptically. I hated Breath of the Wild. I'm a big Zelda fan, a huge Zelda fan. I hated Breath of the Wild. I think that my son is just he just started. Well, he didn't just start, but he's um halfway through the game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. I'm optimistic, and I, this happens every time Assassin's Creed comes out, where like I'm like, oh, the the last one sucked. I'm I'm done with this shit. And then like right before it comes out, I get like a little hype. Obviously, reviews are coming in. It's getting all tens, all perfect Check. scores. IGN yes, quoted a ten. I was like, Ey. I mean, you knew they were gonna do that no matter what. I, I'm just not looking forward to building shit and whatever. But there's supposedly dungeons. There's supposedly more of a story. So we'll see. Um. I managed to walk into my GameStop to pay off the copies before the midnight release tonight, as we were talking about on our tech chat. Yeah. They had collector's editions, which I mean, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You you mentioned that, and I I didn't understand what what what, what that consists of. So the collector's edition is one hundred and thirty dollars. Now they came up for pre order like a month and a half, two months ago, I want to say, and they went instantly. You couldn't get them. You just mm-hmm. couldn't. And I tried, and they got released across a couple different places at different times couldn't get them yeah well, in the GameStop night of they had five two were already sold got one couldn't be happier oh and i have three copies regular copies because i'm gonna keep two sealed i think even if i don't like this game i think you're a fool if you don't get one and just keep it sealed for the like the future get it graded or whatnot i don't doesn't matter but save it for 20 years down the road You know, look at what some of these Zelda games go for sealed. And, you know, I'll say this. People less likely to get physical copies of games now, now that you can download. That's true. I'm one one of them. I'm one of them. I mean, I read a report that, I mean, I don't know if it's true, but they're saying that upwards of 90% of games are bought digitally instead of physically. It's just, honestly speaking, and I'm not knocking physical. I, I like physical, honestly speaking, but this is more easier. You know what I mean? That's why I get all my shit physical. It's just more convenient for me. Just boop, pop it in, download it, and I'm good. So, what do you think of Guardians? Um, uh, are we gonna go into Guardians? Sure. I want to talk about my next man. All right, Real talk quick. about the next. Let's talk about my next man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real quick, man. Shout out to my next man. Game. I'm what is it? Game gra- five. I'm, I'm listening. Just grab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game. Game five was was yesterday. We, well, you know, y'all watching it on Friday was Wednesday. I should say. Game six is tonight, Friday night in Miami, baby. But yo, listen, man. Game five was a freaking uh, roller coaster for me. <laughs> yeah, it was a roller coaster for me, man. Uh, Brunson is just an amazing, amazing. I th- Listen, Charles Barkley said it best, man. One of the best free agent pickups in NBA history, sure. and, and I agree. I agree. Uh, for the Knicks, that's a that's a big that's a big step. Uh, um, Brunson dropped thirty eight points or whatever. Um, and Randall, man, Randall was in and out. He dropped twenty four, but it's just I don't know. You need to find his groove, man. He's got to go. He's got to go. I think he holds the team back. I really do. Well, right, right, right now he needs to he needs to step up. Right now, right now, you know, at what's off season? Then I don't know what you know whatever he wants to do. But uh, yeah, bro, Randall dropped twenty four. Uh, Barrett definitely turned up on playoffs. Playoffs, my man, Randall throughout the season inconsistent, very inconsistent throughout the season. But in the playoffs, he's been doing very good, very well. Um, I'm not gonna say he's doing like the best, but he didn't uh, do good the other day. But he's doing very well. But yeah, man, Brunson is like he's the man, and, you know. And, and I just I can't say anything, you know, bad about Brunson. And I'm happy. But my next winning man yesterday, man. Uh, I know we was down three one. We won three two. Now the series is um gonna be tied on Friday, you know, uh, Lord willing, you know, and uh, bring Game Seven back to the Garden, you know, and win, and we move on to the next round. Uh, so yeah, that's 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 my next update. Let's go next, baby. Yeah, I was happy when they went down three one. I I put it in the group chat. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't I wasn't entertaining that shit. I, yeah, I, I was not entertaining that shit. I know you were just doing. I was like, you know, man, nah, I like to go do it. I hate that. Uh, 
but yeah, Guardians, man. I saw it. I saw it. When was it? Uh, Tuesday. Mm-hmm. I saw it Tuesday. Um, dude. And, and yo, you, I might get a lot of you know shit for this or whatever. Saying, can I? Sk- All right, I, I, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say that it's just as good as the first one. Yes, at certain levels, yes, it is. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it's better, but it's just as good as the first one. Yeah, you know, I had a couple little gripes with it, but I, you know, it was it was really good. It was really good. It was um, really good. The only thing I don't understand really is, was that Chris Pratt or was that Star Lord? Didn't put his I, mask I, on, his boots on, not one time. Yeah, you're absolutely right. But I did like the vintage, the, the, the old school suit, whatever, um, guardian suit, you know, that blue le- uh, je- leather jacket, you know, it was cool. Uh, yeah, but I, I did get, it was more of a Chris Pratt than a Star-Lord type thing. Uh, you know, the whole story was pretty dope. The soundtrack, yeah. the soundtrack was fucking dope. No, I, I don't think so. See, I have to disagree with that. Even I, my brother said the first the same one thing. is the best one. The first yeah. one is the best one. Part three is the second best one. Two is nine, you know. But I, I like the end credit scene um, where they put the 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 song from the first one, you know, that everyone yeah. associates Guardians with to come full circle. Even though those two end credit scenes were absolutely useless, once again, bad end credit scenes. Yeah. Ooh, we're gonna get more Star Lord in what a TV show where he's running around Earth doing stupid shit. Is it gonna be a TV show? Though? I, or- if I had to guess, yeah. I guarantee it's going to be like a six-part TV show where he's running around mowing people's lawns or doing some dumb shit like that. Like, I used to be Star-Lord and, you know, some crap like that. Guaranteed. No, I don't know. I hope not. I hope not. Um, but they never mentioned anything about Legendary Star-Lord, right? So um, that might be in the next phase. We don't even know. I don't know how Marvel's playing this shit. This shit is... They, 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 they too slow with their shit. You know what I mean? They too slow with that. I don't think they have a plan. It doesn't seem like they have a plan. And I See, I think I'm going to get a lot of shit for this. I knew this was going to happen as soon as they cast this guy as freaking Adam Warlock. Uh, what's his name? Will uh, Poulter. Believe it or not, he did not bother me. It didn't bother me either. And I'll tell you this. like I know a lot of people are like, oh, he's stupid. Da, 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 da. And I get that. And it's kind of what I expected them to do with him. I thought maybe they would go even a little further. And make him like really stupid. But if you read the books, he's not an idiot. But when he he is childlike in a way when he comes up because he's just born. Come out the cocoon, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I mean, is he an idiot? No, but <laughs> did, yo, did you see the 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 meme? Oh, not the meme. It was, yeah, it was a meme. Uh, what's his name? The guy who plays War, um Adam Warlock, Will Poulter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, how he was uh. How, he dressed up as Sid from Toy Story or whatever. He looked just like oh. him. Yo, he looked just like him, bro. Uh, yeah, he, he does. His face, he's got the yeah. freckles. And- yeah, yeah, yeah. This is hilarious, man. Uh, he, but go ahead. The guy that played uh, High Evolutionary, I thought he was really good. Yo, that yeah, the whole effect, his whole skull, like, all that shit was dope on him. And what's with them swearing, too? Saying the F word, huh? F word, shit, yeah. all that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. You know what else was really well? They they always say shit, but like you know what was really weird? I don't know if they've done this in any movie, but this is the first time it really caught me. It was like the second thing that they put up there: a James Gunn film, a Kevin Feige production. Mm. Did you see that? No, I didn't notice that. Honestly, I was too into my nachos. I guess. <laughs> Ew, movie nachos. Yo, yo, listen, movie nachos. At least you know AMC does not make good nachos. I went to an AMC theater too. Dude, I'll tell you this. I don't know if my eyes are going or if these screens are just bad, but like I was getting a fucking headache, man. Ah, damn. Could be the lights. No. Maybe. Right. But yeah, um, definitely, man. So um Star Lord. Um Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which is the last of a lot of those acts. I think uh, Zoe Saldana is not make no not doing Gamora anymore. I think but see Dave Batiste is not doing uh Drax anymore. What they say? Yeah, that's what they say. I know, right? Captain America, Kevin Evans, right? He says he's not doing one. I'm pretty sure he'll come back as Cap. Chris Evans, excuse me. Well, see, I think these guys are more likely to hold it because they all... James Gunn must be, like, an awesome dude because they all love the shit out of that guy. Yeah. Like, like more so than I've ever seen, like, anyone be loyal in that kind of... Yeah, loyal to the point where he was having a little controversy with his little, you know... Yeah, people was riding with him still, man. You know, so yeah, I mean, what listen. I think it's going to be stupid is if he pulls all those people over to DC. I think that's so stupid. I just hope not. They don't do that. I hope they don't. I hope not too, but I think they probably will. And I think it'll be stupid. I don't, if I was him, I'd be like, look, I love you guys. I really do. But this needs to be something different. Yeah. 
but uh, you know, there's, I heard rumors about Bradley Cooper maybe being Batman. Um, really? Speaking of, what's with all this fucking shit going around that uh, what's his face is going to be Reed Richards? Who? Uh, um, uh, the guy that played Kylo Ren. Get out of here! What's yeah. the no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. If they happen. cast, if they've been waiting this long, that what the fuck is his name? What is his oh. name? Yeah, Adam Driver. Adam Driver. Yes, yes, if yes. They yes. cast him as Reed Richards. <laughs> what the fuck? Like this yeah. is what's been taking so. Like, why is? See, I want to know what the whole thing is with Krasinski. Where it's like, is he the reason why he's not already signed? Does he have other stuff to do? Because if I was Kevin Feige, I'd be like, look, we've got to get this FF project what right. What the fuck John and, and, we got to do it? Do anyway. That's what I say. Jack Ryan's right about to end soon. You know what I mean? And he does The Quiet Place. That's so it. If I was Kevin Feige, I'd be like, look, we need to get this right. And and a big step in the right direction before we film anything is getting you as Reed and an extra cherry on type would be to get your wife as Sue. But at minimum, we need you as Reed. What is it going to take? How much money is it going to take? Do you want to direct this film? What is it? Just tell me what it's going to take. I don't know. He's only like four years older than Adam Driver anyway. Adam Driver is just like, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Do I see him as Reed? What 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 was it? Did anybody even see the new movie that just came out for him? I forgot what it was called. Oh, where he like, cr- like crash lands on like a, a planet like in the future or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. Just, yeah. I don't know. yeah. Whatever. No. Nobody cares. Yeah. All right, let's go because I got to. Yeah, yeah, you got some beef potatoes to take out. Yeah, we got you. All right, let's go. Oh, uh, let me put it this way. Uh, so, Nitera fourteen came out this week. I did not get a chance to read it. I kind of started. I read the first couple of pages. Um, they're at EOS now with these people of light. And uh, spoiler from what I saw, uh, Bailey. What is it? Bailey? Is that her name? No, not Bailey. Is it Bailey? Well, the main character? No, no, the girl. The girl that they rescued, remember, with her grandfather? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Her grandfather I'm... is there at EOS, but I think it's, like, his, like, digital self. It's not really him. Yeah. So I didn't really get to read it, but. Yeah. See. So we can't really talk about it. Next. Spawn 342 for you Spawn fans. Uh, yo, listen, you know, that, that, that A cover reminds me of, like, a McFarlane cover or, like, this... a, a, a Greg Pullo. Couple. Reminds me of well, this is this reminds me of some Punisher shit. Yeah. But no, it reminds me of Batman because you I'm know, like, yeah, right. Well, he was exactly, but also remember uh, on the Dark Knight Rises when it, it, it's the shot up through the city and the Bat logo is outlined in the buildings in the trailer. Don't you remember when it comes up from the street and goes yeah. in the sky? Yeah. Well, see then, the the skull symbol. Let uh, Victor Bagdanovich not be confused with Bag Bagdanovich from um what's what's his name from what is it from, from Cleveland? Did he play for Cleveland Cavaliers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Something is killing the children. Number one, pen and ink. Okay, I mean, so uh, listen, I, I I I've known they've done a few of these before with other books. This is just artwork. I'm assuming. Right. This is Boom Studios is proud to present pen and ink, a deluxe art focused format featuring stunning black and white interior inks with artist commentary. Excuse me. Begin your collection with this premium reformat of something is killing the children. Number one, celebrating the start of Erica Slaughter's epic journey with exclusive notes and annotations from artists and co-creator co-creator Werther Deladera. This issue will be available with a premium cardstock cover alongside a gorgeous spot UV variant cover and a blank sketch cover. And this is $6.99. I like this. I think this is a good idea for the people who like something's killing the children with the commentary of the artist and stuff like that. Talking about what they did on each panel, why they did the splash page, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, this is definitely for the artist people um, out there in the community. Uh, you know, pretty cool, man. Cool covers too, by I, the way. I still... Cover. I, I've got to get to read this. How many freaking times? I'm reading so much stuff now. I just started reading X Men from GSX up. By the way, loving mm. it. By the way, really? Yeah. Of course, Claremont, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. And reading Werewolf by Night, and reading Tomb of Dracula, and reading Spider Man. You know, and like, reading the new shit, and reading the new shit, and reading Dragonlands books, and just read uh, the book Why Women Deserve Less. And play Magic the Gathering. Your dude is just hard to be and, dropped. And, and playing freaking 
uh, video games. Yeah, doing everything except getting laid. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the oddly pedestrian life of Christopher Chaos, mm-hmm. number one. Uh, let me scroll all the way to the bottom because now that um, Dark Horse and IDW have both gone away from Diamond as their main distributor, um, they have now been relegated into the section of just comics and graphic novels and no longer are getting their own section. Section. Yeah. I mean, it, it kind of makes sense though because, you know, every time you scroll, if you watch previews, we go through previews, like Dark Horse is just like, Four bucks I, minimum. I, I get maximum. it, but I'd rather have it so they're easier to pick out. So yeah, this is weird. So this is being written by – I'm not quite sure. Here, let me read it. From the New York Times best-selling and multi-Eisner award-winning writers of Something is Killing the Children, The Department of Truth, and House of Slaughter, and the artist uh, on Victor and Nora, a Gotham love story, comes this LGBTQ+. Plus Horror hero coming of age series that's Invincible meets Doom Patrol. Meet teenage mad, mad scientist Christopher Chaos. For all his life, he knew he was different. His brilliant mind works in ways that defy logic and enable him to do things that push him beyond his peers. Unfortunately, these abilities have also caused great pain in his personal life, leading others to fear him and leaving Christopher with profound loneliness and guilt. Then one day, something cracked. When the cute boy at high school turns out to be a deadly creature, Christopher finds himself pitted in a world of monsters, heroes, and a cult of hunters out to kill them all. So this is by Tate Bromball, James Tinian, and then the artist is Isaac Goodhart, who I don't know who that is. But Isaac Hayes? Yeah, I'm not quite sure how much Tinian is on this. Involved? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it sounds interesting, the, the synopsis, but this is, I don't know, it's not for me, man. Not Indie cool. books, I, I fell off for me a lot, man. I think they've fall, fallen off for everybody. Yeah. Uh, even, like, by the main guys. I mean, you've got Blue Book number five coming out on this FOC, too, and, you know, I don't hear anyone talking about it. Uh, TMNT, uh, The Last Ronin, Lost Years, number four. I'm not digging this series really at all. Um, the stuff with the new Turtles is okay, but th- those new Turtles are just never going to catch on. Like it, it, remind me, remind me. I'm sorry to cut you off, bro. Remind me, is it the same writer from the original Last Run Array in this? Well, it's not Eastman, and yeah, yeah, that's from Eastman. It, I mean, it's Eastman, but it's not Eastman and Laird. It's just Eastman, and, mm. and um, I think is somebody else helping him write it. Waltz, maybe. Um, Walt Frazier. Yeah, Tom Waltz and Kevin Eastman. I think Tom Waltz is probably writing it and, and Eastman probably gave him like the outline to it. It's, I don't know. I don't know if there's a real need for it. It's telling the past after the turtles are killed and Michelangelo's kind of like wandering around. And then it's currently telling how April and Casey Marie are training the new turtles and the new turtles in a way. I kind of like them. But first of all, whoever chose those names, which I'm assuming it's Eastman and Laird, bad names. Just a bad naming scheme on all of them. Mm. Okay. But, um, I kind of like these covers. Um, sort of reminiscent of the, uh, like a combination between the first movies and the cartoon a little bit. It's yeah. Not quite either, but. I like it though. That's a Tramor. more. Try more that does some very interesting covers. I like Try more. Yeah, cool. That one to twenty five is my favorite cover. <clears throat> I, don't, I mean, they're the same cover, but it's just I don't know. It's just something about the one to twenty five better for me. Next, Batman one thirty six. Okay, here we are to talk about Batman nine hundred. Go ahead. Yo, Batman nine hundred <clears throat> was like the milestone, right? It was like a like a, yeah, it hit nine hundred, right? Yeah. Uh, very good read. Are you fucking kidding me? I, I liked it. I liked it. I really liked it. I liked the fact that he was going through the multiverses, um, the, meeting different Batmans, uh, fixing his his like his whole suit uh, with different Batmans, uh, utility belt from Adam West. With the, the shark fu- spray from the yeah, movie. Yeah, the shark, the shark repellent. Yeah, the shark repellent. Fucking like, dope. Oh, that's, that's more, more, you know what? My, hold on. It was more nostalgic for me. That's why I okay. liked it. I'll give you that. But in terms of the actual story that he that is going on, it's fucking terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. What I don't understand what the fuck Chip Zdarsky is doing. Like, first of all, what are you doing cutting the dude's hand off? 
yeah, yeah. Now is he gonna have a bionic hand now? Like, like what the fuck? I don't know. So failsafe zapped him into the multiverse, and now he's back from. It makes zero sense whatsoever. Zero. The the only cool part, like I said, was the part where he was going through the multiverse, yeah, doing it's, different it's, Batman's and Joker's. Okay. And, it's cool to see that, no doubt, yeah. but it serves no purpose whatsoever. None. <laughs> and you can't disagree. I mean, with he that. Got the, I mean, he got the new suit now. That, that, I guess that's, that's the reason why, you know. And I thought it was cool. You got to see uh ba- Adam West Batman. You got to see Batman animated series. You got to see Arkham of Asylum Batman. Uh, what other Batman's am I missing? Uh, just you know, it was it was just cool. Oh, but uh, Michael Keaton, Dark Knight Returns. No, there you go. You know, so oh yeah, Frank Miller. Frank um, Miller. So it was pretty pretty damn Batman good. Batman animated series. Yep. Um, it's not on this week, but uh, Batman White Knight presents uh Generation Joker. Fucking excellent. Really? Oh my god, it's so and good. This is the one that Sean Murphy didn't write, right? He's not. No, he gives the outline. It's Katana Collins again, who did the Harley one, mm. the White Knight Harley. But it's so good. It's so good. It's so much better than this fucking Batman. I mean, Miles. Well, the lotto cover's nice. We like the lotto. And here's the other thing. I thought Jimenez was really supposed to be on the interiors. He's not really at all. As a matter of fact, his covers are really falling off. I feel like he's just phoning it in. Sorry. Mm. Mm. It's okay. I've seen worse. Uh, okay, uh, for the Flash movie, some Libra Mayho. Uh, okay, uh, mm, eh. I'm assuming we're going to be getting a lot of these Flash movie variants. Yeah, well, this more, I mean, yes, but also, too, because Flash 800 is on this week. Okay, that's all. Uh, Dark Knights of Steel 11 again, Fucking timing man. on this book, it, it's really good, but like just waited so long in between each issue. It's it's really I, hurt. I would, I would like to know, even even for Marvel, even for com- everybody in comic books, man, real quick, you know, why does it take so long for these like books to come out? Like, what's the reason? What's the purpose? What's the what's the meaning behind it? Could it? Be a bunch of different things, it, it could be editing, they have the art. It could be editing. It they didn't have the art. They didn't. Ha- they didn't have the 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 it written yet. Who knows? It could be a bunch of different things. You know, maybe the pu- they just pushed it off the publisher. I don't know, but I'll tell you this: I will buy this omnibus if they give it an omnibus. This is something I would I, I like. I would yeah. read like in a graphic novel. You're right. You're I right. mean, I I've read every issue so far, but it would be much better to read it all the way through as one thing. Really, really, really love this series, especially. You know, it started off very, very strong. Never thought it would be this good. Like, I like my shit consistent. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? That's it. Uh, the Flash 800. It's here, yeah. finally. Yeah, it's here. Probably one of the only times you'll see Flash uh, up here, unfortunately. Uh, or fortunately, however. you. I like the character, though. I, li- I like Barry Allen. Oh, okay. but uh, Okay, I do, too. But what does that say right there on cover one? Uh, tour, what the artist? Uh, oh, it's Wally West. So it's not even. But I'm. I looked at the Michael Cho, so I'm assuming one of those are Barry Allen. Well, is that not weird? A celebrate. Uh, Flash 800 is a celebration of Wally West. That's, yeah, that, that's problem number one. Yeah, it should have been a celebration of Flash. Period. All flashes. You know. Well, here's the other thing. Let me read this real quick. So this is written by like 700 different authors uh-huh. um oh shit written by jeremy adams mark way joshua williamson jeff johns and simon spurrier art by fernando uh Pissarin and eau claire albert todd knock carmine dg and domenico scott collins and mike diodato jr an oversized anniversary issue con- uh, includes writer jeremy adams acclaimed tenure with special guests Mark Wade, Joshua Williamson, and Jeff Johns joining the celebration. As the Adams run races to finish the line, get a prelude to the new Dawn of DC chapter of the Fastest Man Alive's adventure from the dream team of Simon Spurrier. Now, uh, to be fair, I don't know if Flash right now is Wally West and not Barry Allen. So, But why is it that all these anniversary issues are now oversized? Why can't we go back to like spider-man 300 where it was a milestone but it was one book and it was a, something big happened in it i i'm a type of dude that the only oversized books should be the annuals that's it mm-hmm. 
everything else, yep. keep it. Here's you're... an idea. How about you guys just try to make one good book? <laughs> one good flash book. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of trying to tell 88 different bad Fucking, stories. You know, a, lot, a lot of these covers I really like. I like these covers. Mm. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, that blank cover is pretty cool. Uh, that one mm. in 25. No, no, no. Ah, not feeling that. Next. Steelworks, number one. Why? Why? Yeah. Well, I don't know why, but everyone seems to swear by that Steel series. No. All right. What, what, whatever. No. Okay. okay. I, I mean, Are not me. I mean, Did I'm, you read it? No, I'm just, eh, okay. This is like nine nostalgia. This is the death of Superman. Yeah. I you mean, know? we could ask Biggs, but I guarantee he didn't read it. <laughs> Go ahead. Read this shit, man. Forging the future, the metropolis of the future is here today, but can it survive a terrorist who's out for revenge against its builder? John Henry Irons, a.k.a. Steel, and his company Steelworks, and who possesses and who possesses secrets uh, that could undo everything John has worked so hard to build. While John's professional life is firing on all cylinders, his personal life is even better as his on-again, off-again relationship with Lana Lang uh, might be back on permanently. Now he must decide whether it's time to give up being steel once and for all. But does John even know he, uh, who he would be without his superhero identity? How does the other steel, John's niece, Natasha Irons, feel about his momentous decision? And does any of that matter if Steelworks crumbles around him when he lacks his superpowers to fight back? Writer Michael Dorn, the voice of steel in Superman the Animated Series, teams up with artist... Sammy Basri, who did Harley Quinn and Catwoman, to bring you the next chapter of Steel Saga in this not to be missed sixth issue miniseries. Um, two things: Did you see who who was it? Was it Comics and Culture that that put up some post about I forget what it was about, but it was referencing Biggs and him not reading books. Oh yes, it was Comics and Culture. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think everyone we should do a hashtag um, uh, like. I don't know, Biggs read your books or whatever. Everyone just starts sending him posts on things that he should read. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know, The Death of Superman, uh, Superman 1, Action 1. He hasn't read those yet, so everyone starts sending him those posts. Hashtags Biggs read this. Okay. Uh no, I'm, I'm, I'm listening. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving that alone. That's between you and me, bro. I'm not stepping on toes, bro. Are there, are there talks going on behind the scenes? No, no, no. There are no talks. I just don't want it to say that shit. That's it. I'm not, I'm not saying that. <clears throat> I, I, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm at four two sometimes. I don't read. You know what I'm saying? I don't read all everything. You know what I mean? But um, I do read because of the show, and I, and I appreciate that. You know um. But uh, yeah, Biggs been saying he's gonna catch up and read and whatever, you know. I, you know, it's on, it's on Biggs, you know. But that's between you and Biggs, you know. I mean, you calling them out? Well, oh, now it's between the community and Biggs. And has VLC finished uh, the first? Uh, Who cares? Next, all right, still works on. Well, I don't know. He said he got the issue four, so. Who cares about meow meow? All right, Alpha Flight Omnibus Volume One for all you uh, Canadians. Give you something to do. Uh, this is, um, it contains X-Men 109, uh, 120 and 121 and 139 and 140, Incredible Hulk 272, 313 and Annual 8, Machine Man number 18, Marvel 2-in-1, 83 through 84, Alpha Flight number from 1983, 1 through 29, uh, X-Men and Alpha Flight from 1985, 1 through 2. X-Men slash Alpha Fight from 1998, 1 and 2. And material from Marvel Team-Up Annual number 7. That's a, that's a, that's a chunky, hey, that's a chunky, that's a chunky amount right there. It's $125. Yeah, so uh, you get your money's worth, sounds like. ASN 27. So okay. I already read the synopsis of this a couple weeks ago when we were talking about issue 26, where I think we're both in agreement that we think Mary Jane is going to get killed off. Yep. Um, we, we both read issue twenty five. I thought it was oh, a good read. It was pretty good. It was oversized. It it's good, I, but I was bad I, at, at the I, same I, time. I like. I say it's good. In my in my in the sense because uh, uh um, the reason why I, I say it's good uh is because the more 
that, like you know, because it was like a gap, like what happened to Mary Jane and shit like that, whatever. Mm-hmm. And, and we got to see what happened to. Because at first, remember, I thought it was like, damn, she had kids with this dude. The fuck, yeah, you know? but she didn't. And, and yeah, she ended up not having kids. You know, um, these were like they, just, they found him. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, yeah, she she took a liking to this guy. What's his name? He forget his fucking Paul? name. Paul. There you go. Uh, she took a liking to him, and at first she was a little bit like, "No, he's coming back. Peter's coming back for me. I'm um, here waiting for Peter." Blah blah, blah whatever. whatever. Uh, they showed the three weeks. They showed two weeks later, and then uh, months, and, and and then like a couple years. I think it's been four years, right? Four, it was four years, years, yeah. Um, and just her whole process, how she became, you know, the way she is now. Um, I think they it's explain badass. how she has that watch. Yes, made, the guy Paul made it for. Mm-hmm. by combining symbols and it, it's still a stupid idea it does it, it does it, it's filling in that backstory so i guess yes there is that i don't um, I, honestly the villain I, I wasn't really feeling the villain yeah I'm not feeling that. yeah, yeah i don't like him either why and well that's the god and then uh what's his name i always forget his name um, but it, it, it's it's like uh because of you know we talked about the death of mj coming up um i think it's gonna be a sad thing because you know uh, you know, it's always Peter Parker and Mary Jane and Spider Man, Mary Jane, or whatever, and, and and to kill this character off is just I don't I, I don't know. I feel like they shouldn't do it, you know. But maybe they won't because they're doing an awful lot of obvious foreshadowing in a bunch of different books. Like yeah. they even say it multiple times in this book. Like Mary Jane has to be sacrificed. And I have a feeling that she's going to roll something on that watch, the three skulls, and that means death. I think that means death for her. But she's going to have to do it to save some. I don't know. Like I said, if they're going to kill her, kill her. Um, I don't know why I have this feeling that this book right here is like going to be the Marvel book. I mean, the, the Disney book. There's just something about it. I don't know why. Now, is there going to be incentives to this? Or Okay, all right. There's incentives. Not that one I mean, I mean this one. It's pointless to get this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I noticed uh, Romita Jr. not doing the A covers. Um, is he still doing? The no, entire? I think I think he's off. He's I know off. he's. I know he's off on this one on um, uh, issue twenty seven. I think twenty six is his last issue. Who's I doing the interiors then? Ed McGinnis, I think. Okay. All right. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. All right. Cool. All right. Black Panther number one. So we're restarting Black Panther, and this is actually uh, Al Ewing's daughter, Eve Ewing, I believe. Okay. Uh, King without a crown, banished from the throne and fugitive in his own homeland, T'Challa still can't leave Wakanda without its sworn protector. A king without a crown, he finds a new purpose lurking the streets and shadows of the Wakandan city that bears his father's name, Bernin T'Chaka. New direction, new villains, new creative team get in on the ground floor of Marvel's next smash hit. I don't know why this this is calling me. I don't know why. Well, I'm gonna uh, you know I like Black Panther. I'll, I'll read the first again. issue. I'll read it. Um, see, give it a try. You know, new writer, so why not? You know, uh, oh, that's a nice cover. Damn, mm-hmm. that's dope. The Raza, definitely. Mm-hmm. That one in ten is nice too, though, man. Guaranteed, guaranteed. You want to call it right now because I, I guarantee this will. Oh, well, I guess that is the title, but I'll have the barcode. Guaranteed, the second print will come out, and this will be a 1 in 25 virgin. Guaranteed. That's what they're doing. It's almost pointless to buy 1 in 25s on first prints anymore because they make that usually a virgin on the second print. It's so freaking stupid. Out of all the incentives, I like the 1 in 10. Yeah, and Mateus uh, Manhanini usually is really good. He's like ex- almost exclusively like Black Panther and Killmonger shit. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm not really feeling this. I kind of like the hidden gem, the old school feeling of it. Yeah, but the one in ten for me, I don't know. Is just something about the armor and the way he's posed, and it looked mm-hmm. pretty cool. Yeah, I like the Scotty Young too. I even like yeah. the Howard the Duck one. Yeah, it's good. Sorry, right. Sanford Green. Uh, Captain America Cold War Omega. This is going to finish uh, Captain America Cold War. Um, okay. God, I want to read this so bad. Uh, Captain you- Marvel. F- Am I? Yeah. No, I'm going to wait until the trade comes out with all of it in it. Uh, uh-huh. just, uh, Captain Marvel 50. So this is the end of Captain Marvel. Uh, they'll probably reboot it, but this is Kelly Thompson's final issue. Um it has been an impossible journey, one that's taken Carol Danvers across time and space and pitted her against enemies new and old. 
Superstar writer Kelly Thompson has run Marvel's premier heroine through the gauntlet, and now the boss of space burns brighter than ever. No one believed she would get this far, but that's the power of Captain Marvel and her Carol Corps. Uh, they will never give up higher, further, faster to the very end. Do not miss the capstone to a record-breaking run as Thompson's as Thompson puts her final fingerprints on Earth's mightiest hero. I don't know about the book, but the Marvel movie looks pretty cool. I want to see that. Oh, I think it looks terrible. I, it looks interesting. I don't know. Look, I like it. <clears throat> Carnage 14. Uh, I read Carnage Reigns. Um, what you thought of it? It was okay. Mm. Didn't really... I don't know what the purpose. I, I I just don't understand what the purpose of of Carnage is right now. Having like him that. split and what? Look at that Stegman cover though. I know he's doing all these covers. I didn't put it on here. He's doing one for Extreme Venom Verse number three. That's anti Venom, and he already did one with Venom. Um, I think they're homages to Venom the End. I want to say. Yeah. That shit is fucking dope though. All right. But look at this Edge of Spider Verse one second print, one in twenty five version of the C cover from the original one. And this was a dope Ken Lashley cover, but why do you have to make this the one in 25? Did we talk about this book? Did yeah. Book? Yeah. This is the second print. All right. Well, whatever. I'm just saying it's the same two covers. Yeah. It's just, uh, I don't this understand. Iron Man number five, second print. I don't know why this is getting a second print. I don't know if something happened. I forgot to look it up. Oh no, but damn Emma Frost and Tony Starks. Okay. Different Spider Gwen Shadow Clones number four. This book actually is not that bad. It's not you great. Read, you read the first issue? I've read the first three issues. Issue oh. three came out yesterday. Or it's not that ago. bad. It's really not that bad. It's not great. Don't get me wrong, but it's better than the than the last series, whatever that was called, Spider yeah. Clones or whatever it was called. Yeah. Um. This one actually isn't that bad. Not great, but not bad. Um. I, I really kind of like this Annie Wu cover. I, I'm I'm just done with these Greg Land covers. Yeah, it, but the it, Nakayama's nice too, though. Bro. Yeah, it is. It is. Really nice. Uh, no. no yeah. Nah. Spider Man number eight, second print. Um, I heard this was getting a one in twenty five. I haven't seen it yet, but um, his second appearance, I'm down. I like the cover. I, I think this character's got legs. I really do. I do too, but it's just... mm-hmm. okay. I'm, I'm a bad cut you off. Okay, you was in the middle talking. Okay. No, I think he's. I think the little bit that he's been written has already been really good. Alexa off. Yeah, I, I feel like this is a, this is a dope character. I like the Spider Boy character. I think it's a good idea. I agree with you. Uh, it's a. It's a it's, I think he's just as. Uh, it's kind of like the most interesting character to come out ever since Miles. Mm-hmm. Even better than Silk to me, I think. You know, yeah. Now, are we? Am I saying? I'm sure I can speak for you too. That he's going to be as big as Miles? No. Nah, not guaranteeing saying that. But I'm. But saying, I don't think he's a flash in the pan either. Nah, definitely not. Um, again, man, they're directing a, a new character, Spider character, to to the young people like mm-hmm. Miles, you know, and now this kid. Um, but cool cover too. Cool cover. Spider Man 2099 Dark Genesis number one second print. If you can believe that, I read issue one. I didn't read issue two. Issue one. Better than the last Spider-Man 29 series that Steve Orlando did. That being said, not good. Oh. Sit. Not saying much. No. Uh. Spider-Man India, number one. I'm waiting until they come out with uh, Spider-Man uh, Canada. Oh, oh right. <laughs> Spider-Man India returns just in time for this... Big role on the silver screen. Spider-Man India returns for his first miniseries in almost 20 years. God, that was 20 years ago? I guess it was. 2004. 20, uh, 2003 I think it was. is 20 years ago, bro. Yeah, but I think it was 2004 that that came out. Uh, pa- I don't know how you say his name. Is it Pavatir Prab- Prabhakar? Prabhakar? I don't know. Yeah. Is yeah. back. Fresh from the end of the Spider-Verse. In his own universe's uh mumbai but things aren't exactly simple there's a science professor promising results activating people's lizard brain along with a ruthless businessman who may be more than he seems don't miss the breakout spider character of 2023 oh yeah and i was just about to say it'd be nice if they had like a do like a, a indian artist to do this and look they do they got summit kumar 
Um, that's a nice cover too, by the way. The D cover, mm-hmm. pretty cool. Um, and that B cover is really nice too. It gives me like the old school Ramita magazine, you know, the magazine. Well, vibe. It, it's, I think it's all three. So the writer is Nikesh Sukla, and the artist is Abhishek Mal Sunni. So I think they're probably all from India. Yeah. All right. Well, pretty cool. Todd Nug has shot covers. Get that shit out of here. Uh, I'm done. Mm-hmm. Um, Tom Riley. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. like the peekaboo, right? It, it, yeah, <laughs> the blind, the blinds cover. Yeah, and uh, Muhammad Asrar, Asrar. Yeah, I like Muhammad Asrar. One twenty five. Uh, he's a cool artist, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Star Wars thirty four. I forget why this was a key, but this is getting his second print. This was hot last week. Or why, week why, you, why you look that up, before? man? Um, cover A. I know it says not final art, but I like it. It's very different from Star Wars covers. It looks a little different. I like the font. Uh, I, I just like it. I don't know something about it, like the color of it, all the colors from the font, from uh, the, the 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 lightning coming out of the, the you know the redness. First and all that. cameo appearance of Doctor Kuwata. Um, it's not the final art, but it probably will be. It looks just like the first printing, except this has changed on the first printing. I think this was green. Really um, cool cover though. So it'll be close. All right, what else? Uh, Thor by Jason Aaron on the bus, volume two. So you got volume one last year, which had um, the God of Thunder uh, run in it. And I forget what else, if there was anything else in it. I think Are was. you and Nick getting this? Um, I don't know for either one of us. I was talking to Nick about this today, actually. Maybe not. This is Mighty Thor from 2015, uh, number 13 through 23. And 700 through 706. Unworthy Thor, number one through five. Generations, the unworthy Thor and the Thor, and I'm sorry, and the mighty Thor. Mighty Thor at the gates of Valhalla. Thor 2018, one through 16. War of the Realms, one through six. And King Thor, one through four. There's some good stuff in there, but there is also some stuff in there that I, like the whole War of the Realms shit, I thought it was just dumb. Yeah. If I was to get it, I'd get this because it matches my volume one. Looks exactly the same. Next, um, and I want to say, no, that's right. Okay, uh, you've been canceled. Number one, uh, this sounded interesting to me. Let me scroll to find this. This is uh, Mad Cave book. That B cover is nice. Yeah. Right. Um. In the near future, cancel culture means more than just losing your job. It can mean your life. The world's premier entertainment event is canceled. A live stream program where elite bounty hunters called cancelers kill individuals whose society has voted to cancel following heinous acts or offenses. Our story follows Roland Endo, the world's number one ranked canceler. Because of this status, Roland lives in, con- in a constant state of paranoia with a target on his back. Pretty, you know. Yeah. Cool, cool. It, and it, you know, I, you know, we should we, we should read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give it a try. We'll talk about it. Um, whenever it comes out, just remind me. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like this man. Uh, co- cool cover. I mean, I'm assuming the, the the cover A is the interior artist. Um, yeah, you said Casinero. Yes. Yep. So yeah, all right. Um, looks like okay. G- 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 you know, reminds me like a Nottingham. You know, what I'm saying the art kind of. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm not saying exactly like Nottingham, but it's like the kind of, you know, it's, you know what I'm trying to say, guys. I got you. <laughs> right, we have else? a similar style, it seems, yes. Mad Cave. Um, you got Adventures of Superman, John Kent. I didn't realize this was only going to be a six-part series. I, I don't know. This. Damn. Yeah, you said you liked issue one. Yeah, issue one was good. It was good. I got to go back to that. I'm looking at it. I love this cover. Gives me the the um, world's finest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but oh, this is we okay. So f- this is obviously about gay pride or whatever LGBTQIA plus. Okay. But what caught my eye is this at the end, um, an all new story starring Alan Scott, which will light the way to his next great adventure as Green Lantern. What does that? What does Alan Scott have to? Alan Scott isn't gay. No, maybe maybe it's just a backstory. Maybe he's not gay. He's just maybe it's just a backstory. I don't know. Are I don't they know. gonna make him something else since he's not really used? 
I don't know, but knowing I don't know. People that's interesting. Pissed. A lot of flashes. Okay, okay. Uh, Joker man who stopped laughing. Number nine. Is anybody still reading this? I want to know if this is good. Like, we don't really know what's going on with the Joker right now. He's kind of like, in a way, MIA. I mean, he's in this obviously, but it, there's two of them. That volume with the with the whole Gordon shit kind of turned me off. From Joker moment. uncovered. Number one. This is a one shot. Okay. Re- I love how they're reusing the cover that they just used. <laughs> from I think. Yeah, from from Joker, the man who stopped laughing. This was the issue we're, uh, leading into Christmas. Get a lazy DC. Yeah, they sure are. Peacemaker tries hard. Number two. Ha! Uh, I like that homage to Superman cover. This uh, one. Yeah, that one. Tom Riley cover. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. Poison Ivy number thirteen. Didn't think this would be going on for this long. Yeah. Guaranteed, if they ever do a Poison Ivy movie, they adapt this, though. Guaranteed. Dope character. Well, what's her face? Karen Gillan wants to freaking supposedly portray Poison Ivy for James Gunn. You know, the girl that plays Nebula. Oh, okay, I'm cool. I'm cool with that. Yeah, I, I, don't get me wrong. It would be good, but again, you can't bring all these people over and just, you know... Be doing a, a, a Guardians type. I really like this Dan Moore cover. Yeah, Dan Moore. Dan Moore is a dope artist. Yeah, yeah he is. I was just going to say, he's kind of underrated. Uh, okay, that's it for that. And then we go here real quick. I'm already 10 minutes over on my potato, and I still have to cook the steak. Oh, potatoes and steak tonight, huh? Yep. It's like you cook it for, like, you have, you have some company over or some shit. I don't know. No. Nah. I just need to eat right every once in a while. What kind of um, potato? What kind of steak? What kind of? St- it's just chopped up. Ah, okay. I'm not gonna grill it. I just marinated it in this like signature steakhouse marinade. I thought you had like a tomahawk, like a tomahawk. No, or something, or... just throw it in a in a pan and. Sometimes you gotta treat yourself to that though. You know what I mean? Yeah. But for that, you go to a restaurant, right? Yeah. Or like Ruth Chris or Michael Jordan's or something. Extreme Venom verse. Um, you're gonna get the first appearance of um, Madam Venom in this, which I think this is her right here. Sick ass cover. Yeah. Crazy sick cover. Ken Lashley. See, this is what I was talking about. Ah, yes, anti Venom. That's just dope. Or the other Venom, the other. That's what it was, not the end. The other. Anti Venom and Agent Venom is pretty dope. I like yeah, those. and and a couple issues ago was Venom, and then I think there was another one too. I gotta show my son those covers. Um, yeah, India. We talked about that. We talked about Star Wars. Uh, what, what is that? So another Star Wars book. Okay. Not Darth Vader. Uh, X twenty three. I think is on this week too. Um, down to one cover. Obviously not doing that well. I like it. It's okay. But I like the fact that there's only one cover. Simple. Yeah. I right, got Doctor Doom cover. Don't like Doctor Doom on the cover. Wow, that's crazy. I don't. Oh, that's pretty cool. The other one, the face just didn't look right. Mm. But yeah, but who's reading the protector? Maleficent. I'll tell you, these freaking Cover. Disney villains, they're really good. What else you got here? Jughead. Uh, Blue Book number five of five. Didn't really. I mean, I know issue one had a little bit of steam behind it because I think of the one in 25. But other than that, nothing. Excuse me. I feel like James Jimmy T is kind of falling off. The Quattro? Yeah. How's Substack doing, guys? You know him and Scott uh Snyder form their own company, right? Oh, they are, so they leave in Substack. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. So yeah, man, that's uh that's, it. that's about it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Make sure you go over to comicbookinvest.com uh, once again. Yeah, yeah, Sorry, yeah. gotta cut this short. Run yes. behind. Yeah, definitely, guys. You already know, guys. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, man. If just you know, new to this channel, man. Um, yeah, that's all we got today, guys. Uh, appreciate you guys joining us, man. And then again, guys, auction tonight, all right? And the Knicks win tonight. Right? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all I got, man. I'll catch you guys next week, and make sure y'all read your books. All right, later. <laughs>